Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another discussion on uh, circular motion. We are still in this aspect of a uh, circular motion, but right now I want to calculate on tension and centripetal force. Please don't forget to join me uh, on my Facebook page, JB Jumbo Online Mathematics, and also join me uh, uh, on the YouTube. You can also join me on the YouTube, which is a uh, mathematics uh, science mega tutorial. Just just type, uh, go to your YouTube and type mathematics um, uh, science mega tutorial. Just type it. You can have me there. You will see me there. You will see me there, of course. You will learn a lot and you will gain a lot in my teaching. Please try and join me on that platform. I'll be repeating again. The one of the Facebook is JB Jumbo Online Mathematics, while the YouTube name is uh, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. Try and join me and you really have a lot to gain. Thank you very much for joining me once again on this platform. Right now we have a question on the board. Let us calculate this very, very question. Okay, a 2 kg ball attached to a rope moves in its horizontal circle of radius 100 cm. Calculate the tension force if the ball is moving at 20 meter per second and also at 5 meter Second. Now we are dealing with a case of a rope here. Yeah? Remember, I've told you something before. I can recall it. I can recall your mind back. I can recall, recall your mind back. I just go back to tension and centripetal force we have discussed on this aspect before. We said in a circular motion or a, uh, a body on uh, moving along a circular path, we said if it's in the case of a rope, if it's in the case of a rope, meaning what provides the centripetal force is known as the tension. In the case of a rope, what provides the centripetal force is known as tension. Meaning, when a ball, for example, a ball is moving along a circular path, it means that centripetal force keep that body along that path, along that circular path. Now, the force that will provide it is known as tension. Now, the question now, this kind of question on the board is dealing with the uh, tension and centripetal force. Meaning, it's simply a situation of a, a, a circular movement. There is a body on a circular uh, part. Okay, a body on a circular part. Meaning, this kind of circular part is a uh, horizontal. You can see there from the question, he said the body that the, the ball move in a horizontal circle of radius. 100 cm. I mean, therefore, now you know when this ball is moving, it, uh, it, can, it, it has a two direction. It has the vertical direction. And it has. It also, it, it also has uh, has uh, the horizontal direction. Now we want to deal with the case of horizontal here. I mean, what I need to do here is for me to take my circle. I need to draw my circle. Let me draw my circle. When I draw my circle, this one will have. I will have something of this nature. Okay, now you know as you wear this ball. Remember, we are looking at a case like this before. Now, as you wear, as, as you go here, this point here, as you wear, the ball will definitely come to this point. And as you leave this point, you come to the middle here. As you leave the middle, you come to the bottom. You can see this is the way to move. It means that the force that will keep this ball along this path is known as a centripetal force. And the force that will provide it is known as a tension. And the tension exists in the loop. And it's always inward. And the acceleration. Is also inward. The centripetal acceleration is also inward. In a case like this, uh, we uh, that is a case we are uh, considered. In a case like this, we are uh, uh, put into uh, cognizance. We want to put this case into cognizance. Okay. Now looking at this very one now, we what can we really do? What can we really do here? What can we really do? We are not going to consider this point because they are. Uh, talking about horizontal circle, it means that the one that is horizontal here is this middle, it means that this one is vertical, this one is vertical. Therefore, I'm going to consider the case of uh, middle, okay? I'm going to consider this case of middle, meaning I will not consider the bottom, I will not consider the top. Now, you know that in this case of the middle, remember I told you something that uh, the force that will provide this, uh, that will enable this ball, because this ball will move along this path. The centripetal force that will keep this ball along the path, and the force now that will provide this detention. You know that the tension here, remember I told you that 
that uh, it's going to be N V squared. I want to prove it again. I've done it before. Just go back to other class I have read from this aspect of tension and centrifugal force. Now I told you that we have our T to the N V squared over R. Now this one is in the case when the body or the ball is moving very fast. It means that when the ball, when the ball is moving very fast, it's moving. When the ball, when the ball is moving, it's moving very fast. Moving very, very fast. Okay, moving very fast. You can consider this very one t or n v square over r. But if the ball now moves very slow, remember I told you that this um, uh, the ball is still there at that point. But this rope we have to move up a little so that the end becomes a slight angle. Therefore, our t becomes equal the square root of uh, t s square plus uh, t y squared. Mean that the t s provides the centrifugal force, while the t y support the root force. Therefore, in this case, for this one, or for this one, the weight is always zero. Uh, we take root for this one, that this one that t equal m v square over r. The weight here, when you move on to the time, the weight is going to be zero. I've done that before. Let's go back to other class ahead. Okay, I'm going to emphasize on that aspect because we don't have time. Okay, now for this one, we have t now equal this. It means that this is the case when the ball is uh, slow moving slowly. It means that now the mg will not be worse will not be zero because the T1 will support the weight force. Now in this case now, I can say now when the ball, when the ball is, when the ball is moving, moving very slow, uh, very slow, okay, meaning when the ball is not too fast. In the end, we can use this formula, but when the ball is moving very slow, sorry, when the ball is moving very fast, we use this one, when the ball is moving very slow, we use the very one, meaning when it's not moving very fast. Okay, now I think we can proceed now and move on to the calculation. Okay, now using these two formula, I want to consider two cases when it's moving fast and when it is moving slow. Now, okay, now for what I have here, I can calculate, let me calculate the first one, which is a 20 meter, and I will calculate this one in the case of the, uh, the ball moving very fast, which is going to be what C equal m v square over r and we do that all our n from the point there our m is what is the 2 kg okay we have our m as 2 kg and what is our um, uh, b our b is uh, 20 okay we have 20 square all over what is our okay do you, do you know that this very one please don't forget that our hundred centimeter don't forget that one centimeter will give one meter. Please do not move the centimeter. We simply convert it to meter. One centimeter will give one meter. Therefore, at this point, I have one here. Now, okay, I can now say 20 square is what? 20 square is equal to what? Uh, 400 times this becomes 800. This, therefore, my T is 800 meter. Can you see? Okay, now, what about if this ball now? This one is very moving fast now. What about this ball is moving slow? What can it? Uh, really involves me that uh, for the case that uh, the ball is slow, I cannot say my t is equal to the square root of t x square, okay, plus t y square, okay. Now, on this t s, remember I told you that the t s uh, okay, provide the centrifugal force. Please don't forget the t s provide the centrifugal force, and from there, I cannot say that the root becomes the uh, square root become what now? The value of the t s now. Because the square root of a, okay, the Ts is what? mv square. mv square, here is mv square, okay, mv square, mv square over r, okay, we have square again outside, do not forget, plus mg. Remember, I told you that the ty support is with force, because this one will not be zero. But in a case like this, mg is zero, but for this one, there's no way our mg can be zero. I've done that before. Please just go back to other class like that. I don't need to stress uh, on this aspect. Okay, now let's look at this very one. What is this? This one, we already got in it by the end. Already got in the end. I hope I try to see here. With our mass is uh, 2, and the uh, other velocity is 20. Our uh, velocity is 20 square. Okay, remember we have our mass square, and uh, this one is 1 plus uh, what is our mass? Our mass is 2. And what about 
achieve our distance. Don't forget, okay, everything. We are going to square everything. We are squaring everything, okay? We are going to square everything there. Square everything. Become this. Yes, this is what I have. This is what I have. This is what I have. Okay, this is what I have. Now, for what I have here, I can see now everything here now is 800. Yes, therefore, this one is 800 square plus this one here is 20, uh, 20 now. Square is going to be 400. 400. Okay, let me put 20 square here. Let me put 20 square here. Now, this one become what? Okay, okay, because 20 times 10 is 20. Okay, now I'm doing this one now. This one is going to give us, uh, uh, okay, we are going to have 640. Zero, zero, zero. I mean, zero is there, that's four zeros. Therefore, now what we have now, we have 640,000. That's the square 800, uh, 800. We have this very one. The square this one, we have 400. We have 400. Okay. Now, remember there is a root. Please don't forget there is a root. Remember our root continuum. Our square root is continuum. Please don't forget that. Our square root continuum. From this part now, I still need to reduce my square root. Okay, this is what I have, this is what I have, this is what I have, this is what I have. Okay, now from what I have here, I can add now, I can add, I can add. When I have here, become what? Adding this one, I'm going to have the square root of uh, 64, okay, 0, 400. Okay, now let us see now, square root is very one, we are going to have our t to be approximately 800.2 Newton. Do you see there is a little cheat? In terms of tension, remember I told you when this uh, ball is moving slow, this slow gear will only just move a little and uh, uh, have a, a, a little shift in the terms of angle. And what happens with the tension from the tension for the shift to little? You see the value of the tension force here now. We are having 0 0.2 as the fractional uh, value there. Okay, the fractional value is known as 0 0.2, which is the decimal number there. Can you see it's just two guys? Different here, this one is 0.2, while this one is just 800. You see the little different now, and this one is going to move fast, and this one is a little uh, uh, changes. Okay, now, as we have done the one of A, don't now look at the one of uh, B. Don't look at the one of B. Okay, let us the one of B here, let us show the one of B here. Okay, so the one of B, you can have it there, it says 5. You are still going to look at it, you look at this very aspect in two ways, when it's fast. And when it's slow. Now, therefore, now looking at this, okay, as uh, as a uh, t equal b square over r root, what are we going to say there? Our m is 2 and our v is uh, 5 here. Yeah? This one is 5 square all over. Remember our radius, please don't forget our radius is 100 uh, cm, and which was uh, 1, and we don't work with cm. Okay, now doing this, this one is 5 square, which is 25. This one is r square, and this one gives what 25. r square is 25 times 2 becomes 50. Therefore, this one is 50 newton. Okay, 50 newton. What about if the, uh, now the ball is moving slow? What can we already have there? Using that same formula, which is the t uh, s, uh, which is t s square. Okay, plus uh, t y square. Remember, I told you that this one is uh, provide the tension as the the, the, the centripetal force, like uh, this very one here, we provide the tension for the centripetal force. Now, in this very one now, I cannot say, this very one can say, okay, this one I can say mv square over r, okay, I will square it plus uh, this one become mg square, okay, square it again, and the end, what can we really have? Let us see what we have there. We need our t here. Our t here is going to be, okay, doing this, we have going to be square, okay, m is 2, when our velocity is 5 square, okay, our radius is 1, okay, plus, remember the square, the square outside, please don't forget. Okay, now in this very one, we have here as 2, here is 2, okay, and then we have 10, okay, and we have another, we have another, Square outside. Okay. Now doing this now, what can we really do? We need that our t here, which is figure like it is already 50. But we do here that five square is 25 times we become what 50 square, then become 50 square. This one become what 20 square. Okay. Now I have to put my square root. Please don't forget how to put my square root. Doing this one, this one become what? Uh, 2500, 2500 plus 20 times 20 square is what 400. 
And when you have that, you are going to have the storage of uh, 2,900, 2,900. And when you do this, when you do this, okay, let us see. I want to do this one now, getting this one now, let us see. Okay, getting this one, we want to look at the calculator for this. We want to get the square root of uh, 29. Getting the square root of 29, that is only 2,900. Getting the square root of 2,900 from the calculator here, I have uh, approximately 53.9. 53, approximately 53.9. Approximately 53, 53.9 Newton. You see the little change there now. You mean that this one uh, has a fraction that fraction, fractional power which is uh, 0 0.9, and then uh, also uh, a bit different there, which is uh, you mean that the, 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 the different here is just 3.9. You mean that the difference here now is 3.9, but for this one it is uh, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the difference for this one. 0 0.2, you can see the tension here, there's a shift here. For this one, we're having a shift of 3.9. Okay, at this point, I can conclude this teaching. Thank you very much for joining me on this uh, platform. Please don't forget, I still remain at, uh, at, still remain at my Facebook uh, page. I'm still at that page, which is uh, JB Jumbo Online Mathematics. Please join me on that page. Join me on that day to be job online mathematics. Also go to YouTube channel and that is the Mathematics Science Maker tutorial. Have a very beautiful day. Thank you very much. All the best.